Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I pray that you're all having a blessed day. Make it a blessed day in the name of Jesus. I just want to get up on here real quick. Just wanted to be an encouragement. Let me tell you something. Everybody's going through something in this last hour. I'm going to say it again. Everybody's going through something in this last hour. But the option, the option that you have is to be Christ-like or be like the world. You see, you have one enemy. Yeah, the enemy uses people, but you have one enemy. And the enemy wants to make you, you are not godly. You know what I'm saying? To where you don't have the characteristics of God, that you don't walk like God, you don't talk like God, you don't act like God. And it doesn't matter what people say or people do. What matters is how you respond. So God in this hour is saying, I need you to look like me. I need you to talk like me. I need you to walk like me. Despite of how you feel. Despite if you're wrong. Despite if you're right. And that's where we at. God is doing so much in this hour in the lives of believers. He's, he's making a full circle around where godliness and holiness is required. I'm going to say that again. Somebody be a scribe for me this morning. Where holiness and godliness is required. It's, it's no more. You, you can't do, do the fence thing. You know how people straddle the fence? Well, I'm going to be good on Sunday or Wednesday or Thursday until somebody make me mad. No. You have to exemplify the character of Christ. It is time to walk like it, talk like it, be like it, be strong. He said in Joshua 1, 8, have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Then in verse 9, he says, this book of the law, you know how you get there? You meditate. You get up in the morning. God, thank you for waking me up this morning. Get on your knees. Pray if you're able to get on your knees. If not, still pray. God, give me strength this day mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Keep me. You know, one of the things, I write down plan of actions. And here's the plan of action thing. What I want to do is I want to be that woman of God despite who, what, where I'm at. We, this is 24-7. We don't get to get in character and get out of character despite of what's going on. And I had to learn that because everything's a process. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you have a blessed day today. I pray that you are strengthened. I pray that God bless you with wisdom and discernment. Use wisdom and discernment in this hour like never before. You have to because there is so much going on. The enemy is literally trying to take out people of God and that's what's going on. But God said, I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly. God will bless you. God will keep you. God will strengthen you. God will correct you too as well. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I told y'all I was going to get back up on here and start doing ministry more heavily. Because, you know, that's pretty much, you know, God is rebuilding people. As God rebuilds, he instills. Somebody, somebody be a scribe. As he builds, he instills what he wants you to do, how he wants you to do it. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Be blessed, everyone.